the end, I was like, oh, yo, dude, I'm in for this. I'm now. glad you brought that up. I, I had, I audibly went, whoa. Pizza time. Pizza time. Pizza time. You like? Pizza time. Pizza time. Well, Alex, how was that 11 hour drive yesterday? Uh, it was wonderful. It was, uh, <laughs> I live for eleven hour drives. I I just I wake up and I eat them for breakfast. Oh, one stop, like you know, attitude. just go. Uh, it was great. Wow. You know, one of the other movies we're talking about this week has to do with a long drive. That's a longer, true. a much, much longer drive than eleven yes. hours. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that later. Piku yeah, no, coming up this week. Nice. Watch it. Piku, yes. Piku, uh, for Indian, uh, for Indian Tuesdays. Catch that. But today we're not talking about that. Well, I hope, I'm, first of all, I'm glad that you're alive from that 11 hour drive. I'm glad you, you oh, eat you. drives for, for breakfast or whatever is like the Rocky of driving. Get uh, 4 a.m. Yeah. Right? Get up, go, for you. get there. No Will time you? wasted, minimal bathroom bakes. Just move. You're Just that move. dad. You're going you're gonna to be that dad. You're going to be yeah. that dad where it's like, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, you have to what? Yeah. There's a fucking p uh, pan in the back. Yeah. I'm, Piss I'm out the to. window. I'm not stopping. <laughs> it's a real thing. I get that feeling I, too. I'm I, sure it is. I don't really know why I feel that way. It feels so mean, but I'm like, I need, I'm going to get to where we I just, need to go. We have to get there. Like, we have to we, get once there. we, the quicker we get there, the pain is over. It, like, you're yes. done. Like, you oh, it's stand up. That's you what can, it is. You can, you know, you want to go, like, if you're driving to a hotel, right? Or yeah. like, uh, say, like, you're going from Texas to go visit <laughs> Disneyland or something, right? So you get, once you get there, <laughs> you can get, you can be at Disneyland. You can you do can whatever you want. Walk around the hotel. You can take a nap. So, like, but, if we stop more, you elongate the painful right. section. Like, we don't need to do that. We just need to get there. There's a lot of, I think there are a lot of hidden responsibilities that like the person who's driving or is like, you know, you know, needing to get to the place we need to get to that actually really has that nobody who is actually driving really has to deal with. They just have to sort of sit there. Yeah. But I think that's what it is like hidden, hidden feats yeah. of some sort. Anyways, uh, right. talking about uh, being on the road and going fast today's <laughs> review. Yeah, he's the Flash. Here we are, finally at this movie, man. How long has this been yeah. in production? Fifteen years, something like that. I it's think been it's been like five years, actually. Five years. Okay, it's been. A, I mean, five I think years. Been talking about at least having a movie, The Flash, for like <laughs> over a decade, something like that. But you know, uh, I mean, five years. A lot of writers. I'll talk about that later. Oh my god! Yeah, uh, let's talk about that later. But um, yeah, The Flash. We're finally here. Uh, let's start. Let's start. Before we get into the review, a little quick. Um, oh, hit the bell. Subscribe. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. All let's that. We're almost good, at YouTubers. 900 now. So I know. All of a sudden. Guys, freaking love it. Let's get yeah. to that 1K. Special hey. stuff happens at 1K. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A lot of special it's stuff will special happen stuff. at 1K. But uh, yeah, just going to remind the audience of that. Uh, let's get there. But so <laughs> The Flash, uh, you know, it's been it's been a movie that's been promised for a while now. It's a movie that's been talked about, been upped by Tom Cruise, Stephen King as like some of one of the the, the, the the best superhero movies of all time. We've been hearing about this stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's it's Ezra Miller back as a Flash since the uh, his introduction into it uh, in what was that dumb movie. Justice League. Uh, Justice League back in 2017. Oh, no, I think he was actually introduced in Batman versus Superman. It was yeah remember that scene oh that save the girl scene. or something like that yeah they didn't doesn't actually, he say save that something like that spoiler he doesn't actually yeah. that never comes up in this movie uh but anyways hey wb storytelling uh but we're yeah. here we're at the flash and it tells the story of barry allen in his first solo movie where we uh meet up with barry still kind of being himself struggling as a sort of early what is he mid-20s guy yeah, something like that dealing with uh his father still in prison for the wrongful uh murder of his of his mom and essentially that's what the movie is about barry finds out and the spoiler start here by the way if you if you don't want to know anything turn off now but barry finds out he can turn back time using his speed force uh power and he moves he moves so fast he could turn back time essentially Mm -hmm. And of course, when you find out that you want to replace something that w that went wrong in your life, so he tries to mend uh, her his mom being uh, killed. But in of course, in true Back to the Future or any kind of time travel movie fashion, that fucks shit up. And the entire movie is essentially about Barry 
figuring out if he wants to keep going the way that he that this path that he 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 put himself on and trying to help uh his mother be alive or perhaps things should just sort of like be as they were uh, along the way right. he, if, he if, finds if, out he isn't always he's not exactly in the right time too and yeah. that maybe a multiverse sort of expands and that this also then pseudo is the introduction to the dc multiverse of some sort uh of course uh keen's batman's in this mm-hmm. uh sasha cal as callie forget her name is supergirl and she makes her appearance here as uh superman's cousin and uh there's also another flash which is another barry in this timeline it's crazy multiverse shit but essentially that's the movie that is my wrap up of the movie so let's get into our review you ready yes i'm ready okay let's, let's do, do it, it. Okay, here's what I here's my first question to you. Uh, do you think? Oh boy! After you watched it, did you think this was one of the best superhero films ever made? Do you feel like it lived up to that hype in any way? And if yes or no, how did you think about the movie in general? Oh, absolutely not one of the best superhero <laughs> movies ever made. It's not even uh, close. Yeah. Okay. What was happening? I don't know if like. All these people behind the scenes were talking to each other, texting each other. Tom Cruise was texting Stephen King and Steven Spielberg. I don't think Steven Spielberg actually. Yeah, they're they're on a chain. They're all this like chain, right? Like, let's just say this movie's really, really freaking good to help out Warner Bros. so they can make some money and blah, 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 blah. No, I, this was, um, not a great superhero film. I wouldn't even put this in the top 10 superhero movies of all time. No, I don't me either, either. either. No. Right? Okay, right. I was like, I don't think that's even being exaggerative. And I think, you know, I think the audience and critics would agree. Like, it's only sitting at like 67% yeah, on Tomatoes. score, it's, man. It's only got 85% on... Um, the audience. On the audience, which is very low if an audience... Like, if this was as good as people said it was, it would be way higher. Um, but, yeah... The movie at times is incredibly fun, mm-hmm. but the movie at times is also incredibly weird, incredibly <laughs> like not well put together. You're no. kind of like, what the fuck is going on? Why is this like this? There's so many like head scratching moments. The cameos, in my opinion, one of like a few of them are really fun, oh, and a few of them are just like, though. what the fuck is happening? I don't know why is this. You know, uh, I know again, which one you're talking about. I think. <laughs> yeah, you know, like I actually I don't really know. like. The, I actually really thought that was one of the most fun parts, but we'll get into that later. But uh, yeah, no, but like, I think they're fun. But at the end of the day, I'm just kind of like, you know, you, you this has the typical DC problem that you're that you've had with Shazam: Fury of the Gods, oh. and you're gonna have with Blue Beetle. What is the point? Yeah, what oh, is the point? Right. We're gonna sit here and it's all over and it means nothing. Right. right? That's that's where we're at because we just don't know. Like, uh, I, I guess James Gunn, <laughs> I think he saw the numbers come out, and he act after the numbers like predictions came out. And by the way, this bombed at the box office. Uh, it did it not didn't do, do well. well. No, it, it is, did not. Domestically, it barely got fifty five million. That's it. Oh my god, that's actually uh, worse. That actually came underneath predictions yes. didn't it and which yes. were already conservative like uh, i mean like low. um low i think yeah. it was like 60 million or 65 million yeah dude oh, uh and, and oh dude and like it could be like listen there there is like a little bit of you know there could be a, a little bit of a problem with like you know the marketing for the film you know they couldn't use ezra he couldn't be out kind of promoting the film huh, so they well, really kind of you know, we'll talk duh. about the premiere, but uh, yeah, right, anyways, which so. you know, but you know, they use they kind of use Sasha as the main pinpoint, but she's only in the movie for like I think she's 20 not in minutes. It that long. I really thought they were gonna like give throw Michael Keaton a bunch of money to just take over that press store, which I think would have been the best, best idea, idea they could have yeah. done. Uh, must something tells me though, Michael didn't want to do it, which I don't I blame don't, him. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he was gonna, but that was probably their first <sighs> mode of, of thing, but anyways, yeah, okay, so yeah, so overall, the movie was fun yeah it was fun but not great so what did you think the film i i i I completely agree with you i thought i enjoyed it i I thought it was a good movie i I thought it was a good summer blockbuster movie at the end of the day it's like there's so much great visuals and like it's it it keeps moving like the pacing yeah the pacing not surprisingly 
the pacing is really great and fast. It just keeps going. And mm-hmm. you know, all the, all, there's so much that, that happens in the third act. And it's just like, look, the general audience, I think, should like this movie for the most part, especially if mm-hmm. you want to spend $20 for a summer flick. Uh, it has nostalgia. It has all, everything you would need. It's funny at times, you know, I... There's a there's a point where I I was tearing up like like when it wraps up about the mother like I thought that was all well done you know like that was all really great, uh but if you wanna if we wanna talk about this movie in the like in the pantheon of superhero films and putting it up against those words that were said that said yes it's the best thing ever no it's not even close it's not even mm, you know, it's not even in that world at all and my biggest issue with the film was actually its third act and the way it used its it's nostalgia bait. Uh, essentially that third that whole third act even with key in even with super uh super girl whatever yeah that's, that ends up just being a bunch of nostalgia bullshit like that whole thir- okay. that whole thing with zod didn't need to happen like right. that has nothing to do with essentially what the story a- ended up being about which was you know when we find out that like uh the the second berry that he goes find uh, that he uh t- turns into the flash <laughs> is the guy that gets him into this pickle in the first place because he turns into this like uh, well what do you call him i don't know he's the dark flash the dark Ten. flash he's dark flash that's dark what he flash. is yeah, dark flash. Yeah, this, yeah. the second barry yeah becomes the villain yeah and all that that all that was really real that that part of it that was interesting but they abandoned that for the whole heat and thing and the, and the supergirl thing and it, that, it's all to that show the battle yeah yeah it has nothing to do with that story yeah whatsoever that's, that's so uh, that was like the worst part of the entire I, thing was like wow wb yeah. you have not learned about stories i and completely just keeping agree. to yeah. it guys yeah so like what i completely agree i i think it that's where it kind of like we spent so much time watching that ma- like massive battle and you the other barry kind of learning how to use the powers blah 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 yeah. But like it all just felt wasted because then he felt just as strong as the original Barry, the right. original timeline Barry in right. a flash punch. And, re- and it wraps right? up super quick. It just like Yeah, and it wraps oh, up. There's like really we're back no at the story. Like, yeah, okay. so there's like there really is no villain. Like Barry is the not villain, really. but like not really the villain because at the end of the day he stops the villain the bad Barry fine. stops the extra bad Barry. Yeah. It, it kind of just all falls flat. And it all kind of fills for the nothing. Like there's, yeah, it's there's not a like, there, like it, there's, I don't know. There was never really like a big threat that you feel threatened by, you know. No. Um, and, and you compare it to like, compare it to like the high of ev- evolutionary, which yeah. you're like, there's a threat. You're, you're scared of him. You're worried about him. You know how are they going to beat this guy? There was never that in this movie. Like Zod, I, I don't know. I didn't like Man of Steel, so Zod fell flat to me. Like yeah, again, like I just. They brought back Michael Shannon for it. I was like, yeah, like it just I, didn't work out the way I think they wanted it to. And well, at least they could have like narratively tied it in better to be yeah. feel, feel more essential because like, you know, there's that end scene where they're in the, the, whatever the Chrome dome, whatever, or the Kronos dome, whatever, like where they're, they're trying to like Barry's finally fig our Barry's finally figuring out like who this dark flash is. And like, Oh, I gotta like, I have to sacrifice my mom in order to save the universe. But like, okay, what the hell did anything that we just did have to do with this moment? Yeah. Like God plays it, n- nothing I, into this. <laughs> Supergirl plays nothing into yeah. this. Michael Keaton plays nothing into your decision, Barry. So my only, like, my only thing there. is that the only thing that really mattered in all of that was the, the fate the point of intersection in time that has to happen right that's where it is that's right that's where you land but that's kind of buried under all this all explosive and shit with no, you're absolutely wrong. Like, right the scene where the two berries figure out how to work their power and get this cool music mix that's a really fun cool fun scene. scene yes really yeah. cool and then you know it's just kind of whatever when you try to put it together, it's like a house of cards and it just fumbles. Right. It just falls, right. you know? And well, again, that's exa- that's yeah. a prime example of why that third act is just all essentially nostalgia bait. It's all just yeah. fan service. Fan and service. it's like, who that's cares? Why, yeah, why yeah. is this even a, a thing? Anyways, so um, so that yeah. was a huge issue, I think, with the film. Uh, while we're on it, uh, what other issues did you have with the film before we sort of go into like maybe some positives that we we, we had? Oh, so other, other things I had with the film, I, I, I will say I... I <laughs> it's so frantic at times that it's the other oh. Barry gets kind of annoying to me. Yeah. Like his, like it's always just a joke and he, he really gets to an, it, it, it gets very, very annoying to me. Um, the original flashpoint comic book that this is based off of Barry runs back in time and, uh, he saves his mom on, he doesn't on accident. He was not trying to do it on purpose. He just runs so fast. Cause he's upset. 
he runs back in time he saves his mom um oh, i didn't know that yeah and, and it's it's barry and thomas wayne it's not bruce wayne it's mm. thomas wayne that he goes to and thomas wayne is batman and the person the guy that died in the the mugging and bruce is wayne's you know parents mugging is bruce wayne so bruce wayne doesn't exist in this world whoa and then on top of that the person who plays the joker is uh martha wayne uh she's the joker in flashpoint because she goes crazy because bruce dies that's freaking crazy um, yeah so i i felt like that you know, as a comic book fan of The Flash, you know, I have a big-ass picture of The Flash here. I'm a, I'm a big fan of The Flash the comic books. I really, really like Barry Allen. I really like Wally West. I would have done something more similar to that uh, than okay. this. Yeah. You know, as, as like, a as a hardcore comic book fan um, of, of The Flash. I, like, I've read two comics a lot in my life, and one is The Flash and the other is Spider-Man. So, like... Oh, these are those, your top. Yeah, these are my top ones. So, like, for that... I just would have done something different. Um, uh, with I just would have... Honestly, I just would have put that story to film, I think, is what I would have done. Well, I, that actually brings up a good... I wonder yeah. if, like, what if they just made this older Michael Keaton Thomas Wayne, and they just kind of played him off as right Thomas Wayne instead of, yeah, like, and Bruce you Wayne. Yeah, you could have still had enough. the nostalgia things, you know? That might have been cool. Like, he doesn't um, play exactly the Batman that he played, but he's still yeah. Batman, and he plays Thomas Wayne this time, and so it's slightly different. That would yeah. be cool. Yeah. I still, also, one, one other thing, I'm also not a huge fan of Ezra Miller as The Flash. I've never been a huge fan of Ezra Miller. I think the running, I don't, it, maybe other people can tell me. Does anyone else get annoyed with the running style? Like, does anyone think it's fucking stupid? I think it looks, I mean, I definitely don't think it's the best it's, presentation of, uh, it looks, he, he, he's the, like, I don't know what it is. Like, why are you like this? Like, are, yeah. is it the, are you a Naruto character or something? Isn't that like, a, don't they fucking do that? I like, get out of my head. Oh dude. my God, I, dude, you? you're, as someone who does, who's never watched <laughs> anime, you fucking hit that on the head. Isn't it? That's what, yeah. is that what it is? I mean, yeah. essentially, because you know, it's like, uh, he has to like pose. It's like the, yeah, to, I don't like, get it. Thing. I, I, uh, I hate it. You're it's, so right. It's, you're so it's right. It's such a small thing, but I hate it. I get so annoyed <laughs> when I see him run. It just so pisses right. me off for some reason. Yeah, anyway. I, know I don't blame you. I think it looks stupid. I think I still think Mikari in Eternals was the best representation oh, of a, a speedster I've ever seen. Slaps, dude. Yes, she and they, the they could have just followed that. That yeah, representation would have been better than this because it's. It yeah, I don't. Stupid. The weird like, yoga poses, things like, like that. Yeah, I don't really, like, I really don't like the running style. What the hell I is really that? I really don't like it. And it. Every time I see it, it really just bugs me, and it kind of just takes me out of the movie a little bit. That's yeah. how much I dislike it. I, I, and I know you. it's such a little thing, but it just bugs me. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I, I was never a big, big fan of Ezra Miller as The sure. Flash, and I'm still not. Yeah. Um, although, I will say there are times where this movie is, you know, he's really great as The Flash. And then, last thing I didn't really like, I don't really why I don't know why we included Iris West in this. She seems so useless, useless right? So like, useless. There's like zero chemistry between the two. Like these two love each other, but like you wouldn't know that. I you know like, I would bet I would bet she was actually more in the movie in the original cut. Like because she plays a uh, uh, she reporter. plays a reporter. I bet there was like a whole side story of her helping out mm. Barry in that time with his father and blah 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 blah. I bet if not. Why did you even have her? It just, I yeah. you could have completely cut her out. It would have made no yeah. difference. You know, I, I like Kirstie Clemens. I think she's a good actress. So I like her. I, it, it has nothing to do with her. I just like, I, you don't need her in the movie. Like, yeah. it's just wasted no. time. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely you know, right. In a movie that's already long and overstuffed like, with characters and overstuffed with characters, you don't need that character. No. Yeah. I bet you she know? was in it more. I bet she, yes. there was way more scenes with her. And yeah, they just, um, too long. Anything else you didn't like about the movie? That's where I finish. Um, I pretty much agree with everything you just said. Uh, again, it for me, I actually for so for the most part, I really enjoyed the first two acts. I thought it, they were really solid. I was having when it when it was in back to future mode. That's Dude. when the movie's strongest. When especially yeah. like look the the second Ezra Miller, the second Flash in that that multiverse was annoying, but yeah. I liked their sort of. Like him having to deal with himself as a different Barry, I thought was really fun. You had those scenes where, you know, he was trying to, uh, they had to like phase through stuff and he was learning yeah. that and he didn't know how yeah. to do it. Like all yeah. that stuff was really fun. Yeah. Uh, but it's so the big, yeah. Yeah. The Go, big, no, no. Yeah. Uh, the, the big issue with me was like that third act. 
that third act was just it once we got into batman i was like what does this all mean it just it completely fell apart for me i just didn't it just it the the, the film lost itself completely yeah and look it was cool seeing michael keaton as batman but you would think that they would have a better reason for him to be there and like write something a little bit more meaty for him to and then like he just die like he dies twice like he, he just crashes his plane i'm like what okay this is weird it doesn't even matter anyway so i'm just like yeah okay if you weren't gonna give him like this big hurrah why did you even bother to have him and this yeah and then supergirl gets even more short change i mean she literally dies uh and it's like so what's what is her whole thing she just pissed off that oh, superman yeah, died I, I mean yeah okay and, big, and she loses go. like she's cool but she loses so fast to zod i was like she seems a little so, a, little, a little disrespectful i, I know mean, like she, i thought they were gonna like really, really play her up like oh she yeah to, like kill zod like oh, yeah i thought so you. too yeah but, but no she dies to him I'm no like, okay, yeah well, she that dies was a little bit of so a fast wow, um, wow, moment i it, think it would have been cool if maybe he like there was a little love story maybe between them that would have been a little more interesting like of some yeah. sort they kind of hint at because she like she helps him give him the powers with that whole uh benjamin franklin kite scene whatever um and gets him as foul <laughs> yeah um yeah, right that, yeah. i mean that would have been interesting uh, uh they play around with it but ultimately all that just stuff all that stuff just was so for nothing and i i just hated it it was just like this dangling fruit in your face so and it just doesn't make sense. So that was my biggest issue. Other than that, I mean, look, I like Ezra. Too. I actually, I like Ezra as the Flash. I don't, mm. I don't think he's the definitive Flash by any means. Uh, but I, I, I think he did a good job, especially playing two characters here that had to feel distinct. As a performer, I think he did hey, a pretty good job. You're right. You know what I'm that, saying he did a good I, job. I did, did I get a little annoyed with the the Ezra, the two Ezras, the the second Ezra being yeah. really overbearing at times? Yes, I can laugh. Yeah, this, uh, 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 yeah. Uh, God damn, that's really good actually. Uh, that was incredibly annoying. Uh, yeah. But you are right. You are one hundred percent right. In terms of like separating the two characters, he yeah. did do a good job. I mean, uh, that whole conversation about Back to the Future, Eric Stoltz. I oh my god, yeah, you're right. Dying. I, the that Eric Stoltz be, reveal was really great. I love that. I might have. I think that was the hardest. I was laughing the entire. It's really film. good. It's really yeah. good. Eric Stoltz stars as Back to the Future as Marty McFly, and then Michael J. Fox played another character. I can't remember. Um, it was very. The very only thing that would have made that better is if they get. Wait, is Eric Stoltz dead? I hope he's not. Sorry. It would have been great if they got Eric Stoltz or like Michael J. Fox to sort of cameo in some weird way. That would have uh, been not amazing. as their characters, but just like, you know, there. That would have been kind of cool. Because like who the oh. I mean, does Eric Stoltz even work anymore in, in this field? But that would have been just so great. Oh, that was uh, I, I agree. Really I love I mean <laughs> there's the guy on the couch uh in Barry's apartment who gets a a, a, a tattoo of Eric Stoltz as Marty yeah. McFly on his inner thigh and he calls it Marty Marty McFly. It's so I mean that part was really funny. Um, it, it's so good. Uh, yeah, that, Nick, Nick, as a Back to the Future fans, I was just like, "That's that's great." And this is yeah, now a Back good. to the Future reference has now been made in both the Marvel, the MCU, and the DCU because uh, like time travel just cannot be explained without Back to the Future. Uh, yes, yes. Um, that's how much of a, a cult hit that is, anyways. Um, uh, okay, so that's like some of the big issues that we had. Before I move on to some of the good things we like, Michael J. Fox was in uh, Footloose. He was Footloose. Footloose. Yes, that's yes, it. Yes. yes, okay, yeah. yes. Gotcha. Go nice. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yes, yes. yes. sorry. Uh, before we go into like some of the good things that we liked, uh, which we were on a little bit, I wanted to talk about sort of how they how the movie works as a multiversal introduction of the DCU, uh, because essentially that's what happens near the end that's sort of what it becomes with all those cameos we see all those other multiverses and i want to <laughs> jump into this because i wasn't sure yet if how you felt about that really quickly like how i felt about that i actually thought it was i think they did it kind of better than the mcu i'll say that the yeah. they introduced their multiverse aspect way better than the mcu has done in phase four and in five uh I, and i think a lot of that actually had to do with the smart move they made was which they they brought in a lot of the old actors who played Superman, who played Batman from before. Yeah. As much as like I, they're they're hardly like the things that I kind of grew up with. I just thought it was really great the way that they they did they did did that. They like paid homage to like everyone that came before them, and now they've like established essentially that those were real. Like these are all in the same you know they live in the same kind of whatever we call this multiverse yes right um and just to bring all those in i thought was i actually really liked it i thought that was actually really cool and the way they presented it was just way less a little less 
convoluted than the MCU has. So yeah, and, um, and it made for some really great nostalgia bites that I thought e- that were more effective than even seeing oh, Michael geez. Keaton back as Batman full on. Yeah. So I, I I responded positively to this introduction to whatever this this world is. How did you how did you respond I, to it? I completely agree with you. I think they okay. did they did the multiverse aspect really cool, really fun. They brought in so many characters and like. Uh, and you and I both are like film guys, so we know the story that Kevin Smith has told about the giant <laughs> spider that he had to write into the Superman film starring Nicolas Cage. Oh, and they get him they to do it. They it. got Nicolas Cage beating, like, to have that in there. I love is it. Is it just like, it's like a cool thing for just moviegoers to see. Because I'm, I'm sure any, like, typical moviegoers are going, yeah. what the fuck's that Nicolas Cage? Uh, everyone, was lost. Spider. everyone was lost. If you don't know what that is, you're lost yeah. as shit. Yeah. Yeah, but... There's go look it up online. Maybe we'll post it in the yeah. Comment, it's an like, amazing the story. Kevin Smith tells this amazing story about how he was writing uh, the new Superman film that Nicolas Cage was attached to star in with Tim Burton, and they wanted the producer wanted him to fight a giant spider. Uh, which, by the way, that movie still came to fruition. It was just a different title called Wild yes. Wild West. Uh, and <laughs> which I anyway, like. yes, dude. You like Wild Wild West? I like Wild Wild West, yes. Wow. I do. I've watched it many times. It's just anyway, fun. anyway, 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 anyway. Before we go. There. Hey, go, go, go. Uh, before we get super sidetracked. There's it's a famous, you know, speech he gives at a college in a um yeah, it's it, it was fun to see that. And it was fun to see I'm gonna say the biggest well, not the biggest, I'm gonna say one of the biggest spoilers. It was fun and I kinda loved seeing George Clooney as Bruce Wayne. Yes. At the end, I was like, yo, oh, dude, I'm in for this. I'm now. glad you brought that up. I I had I audibly went, whoa. Like I just I literally yeah. wasn't expect I mean, after seeing I all that, I him. was kind of dumb to not think that could have happened. But then it just but seeing him on screen, I was like, holy shit. Yeah. George Clooney has come back. I was dude. like, that is so cool. That was I thought it was going to be so Keaton. Awesome. I was like, yeah. it's going to be Keaton. What a great subversion. Uh, it's like, oh, yeah. oh, Keaton's in this world. Oh, that's cute. Oh, my um, God. It's fucking George Clooney, bro. That is so sick. I thought that so, was so great. So I read something about great that. Great cameo. I'll, I'll talk great about cameo. it in a second. But um, that was really fun to see. And I think you're dead right about how they set up their multiverse to work yeah. almost a hundred times better than Marvel. It's not even close, but in my opinion. I want to say there's a there's a massive caveat okay dc has been receiving movies for decades longer right. than marvel marvel to set up a cameo like that they would have to go like they don't have that they like, don't have that the, the Correct. first marvel movie ever made still Correct. to this day like if we're going mcu is iron man right you know that was i mean it was over 10 years ago but it's still that's not that long ago like they used you know, CGI of Christopher Reeves. They used the story of this other Wally uh, superhero West. Superman movie that was supposed to be. Um, yeah, like they have all these things. They put Supergirl. They put Jane Slater's Supergirl in there. Yes, I know. Um, it's, with it's so great. Christopher Reeves. Like <laughs> they have all these worlds that they are able to create and use because they existed already. And I was smart to use them and smart to show them all. And yeah, I really, that part of the movie was really fun to watch. That made to me see smile. You. Yeah, I seeing mean, all those cameos, I was like, <laughs> that's it rem- cool. it's so it's so easy for the MCU to feel like they've taken over, but mm. when you see those that scene and realize just how far back, like the, the this thing has really come from you, yeah. you, 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 your respect for the DC world, I think, up, is it's hard to not be uplifted by that, by that, mm. by those singular scenes, and I think that was a very smart um, mm. scene have added and to tackle that in this movie I, I think it really does elevate the movie past just the, the horrible third act uh yeah. so that really saved the movie for me it was seeing yeah, yeah. those scenes so um i really really enjoyed that whole thing and yeah i think it's a really big win for the dc to have shown that it was a really yeah. smart move it definitely yeah. works better than marvel's because it's just not as convoluted it's just yes hey here are you know those other movies we made those are the other multiverses Ooh. right well, they, did, they they actually did the 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 opposite, which was that they showed multiverses from times past, while the MCU was trying to set up multiverses from things that we've never seen. So it's it's harder. Yeah. So again, you're right. Like M- the MCU just doesn't have that, which is you're right. There's a there's a bias there. But regardless, I, I can't. I have to say, like that, I, I I feel more excited about the multiverse DCU right now 
more than the MCU multiverse because that has just been complete ass. Uh, right. So you know that. So kudos to the film for that, and for Warner Brothers and the DC to to have done that in the Flash film, and it, it made it made a lot of sense. Yeah. So um, okay, so let's move on to things, we, other things we liked about the film. Now that we've talked about, yeah, them, like what other things you like? Did you like dig? Uh, you know, I I know a lot of people had a lot of issues with the CGI, uh, like the baby stuff. Yeah, it's not great. I like but that. To be, to be honest, the CGI is not that bad. I don't think it's that it's bad. Not that like, bad. I keep seeing like things online that are like PS2 graphics and stuff, and I'm like, I don't. I don't there do, were I, some I, shots I, with I the facial like, replacement. You know, oh, oh, oh! That were absolutely atrocious on Batfleck, right? On uh, that, and on on uh, Ezra too. There's like some scenes oh, in the bat, Ezra. the Batwing. They oh, were talking yes. to each other, and it's just like, what mm. the, is that putty? That's so gross. Yeah, that's bad. The the bat flick stuff also was really bad. <laughs> there there uh, was some rough the stuff action with the... scene. Like obviously Ben Affleck's not there. He was never no. in the Batman suit. No, uh, I will say though, and we're gonna talk about this because uh, the director of this film, Andy Muschietti, is now going to be directing Batman: The Brave and the Bold. I I really liked the Batman action scenes though. Yeah. Those were really yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, that, that as much cool. as he yes. wasn't in there, those yeah. scenes were awesome. That was definitely one of my favorite yeah. parts. He handled I'm, that really well. I'm happy. I'm happy. Andy Muschietti gets to direct the next uh, Batman: Brave and Bold, and like like we've both been saying, dude, we've been saying like we just want like a really. Big... I'm sick and tired of the real life Batman. I want to see Batman wreck some guys like we did on TV show, like cartoon shows and stuff yeah. like that. A little more fanatical, a little more over the top. Sure, I think, I think we're ready for that. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm. Maybe like, I'm. Like he was here. I I I dug yeah, it. Yeah, I dug yeah, all like the he Batman was stuff. Fucking flying everywhere. He looked. It great. was awesome. So, it was awesome. Love. I definitely scenes. agree with you. I'm in. I'm in for that. That's going to be really fun. That was. Yeah. That was another uh, good thing I liked about the film. Uh, like I said, I did like the flash action scenes. So like him, <laughs> you know, him trying, you know, to phase through stuff, learning how to fight. Yeah, teaching the other Ezra how to. Uh, like, use his powers. That's yeah. all really cool, fun oh, yeah. stuff. He, yeah, he phases through the the apartment floor when he yeah, realizes yeah. he could phase. I mean, that yeah. shit was so fun. That's, That's so great. Fun. Yeah, it's he funny. does a lot of fun it's stuff. Um, I like the intro of Keaton seeing him as an old man. He's like, yeah. well, "I'm retired because Gotham's." safe now like that's the only reason <laughs> batman would ever stop like it's, yeah it makes sense so you know i like seeing but, all of see, that, that you know? that's part of why i like that just doesn't make sense to me then why he his yeah. reasoning to join barry i just like i don't know that wasn't you well don't like the reasoning um no well like, like yo yeah because my mom and i'm like yeah i get that but dude like you're gonna risk i don't know i just it was a strong enough reason for me i don't know hmm. after everything he's seen i just don't He's like fucking eighty something, or I don't know, seventy something. I don't know, but it's just like he's got to be eighty something. <laughs> you're wise enough. To, I feel like, look, I think you can, I think you can like lead, like guide Barry, but for you to like <laughs> uproot yourself from what you what you have, I don't know. It just doesn't. Yeah. Really... Also, like, why why is he so? He's just alone. That's why he's just so he doesn't shave. Like, yeah, I did it. Really? Okay. I like, think so. He, he, he I don't did know. what he said he would do. He would cre- he made this great Gotham, and then he's sad. I just I just wasn't really sure the the dots connected so, for me there. I just wasn't. I don't know. So I read the original ending, and uh, the take this with a grain of salt may not may be true, may not be true. But I had read that the original ending before they got a massive full on reboot. We right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and this was also before Henry Cavill was back as Superman. Was that? It was going to see Supergirl, Michael Keaton's Batman at the court, uh, Barry, and Wonder Woman, uh, and Batfleck. All uh, somehow, some way, Batfleck would be there as well. What? No, I'm sorry, what? that's not right. Uh, just Wonder Woman and um, Keaton, and they had been in, they had known each other for a long time already. That that's how it ended. That Ooh. basically they had brought Keaton back to be the next Batman to see the you know into the future and we'll see where it goes from there whoa um then they got a call that oh henry cavill is back he's officially back because the rock got him back so the the uh, the the next <laughs> ending that they shot was actually cavill supergirl michael keaton's batman and wonder woman all back at barry's court. what the fuck then <laughs> they were told, guess what? This is wild. James Gunn, James Gunn stepped in and he said, we can't have this ending. It's going to tease fans too much and it's just going to be too brutal for them because none of these characters are going to be sticking around. And yeah, after this, it's true. 
So here's what we're going to do. So they got, he, I guess he made some calls. Peter Safran called. They got George Clooney. And that's it. That's how it ends. Um, I like it. And the other two, the rest of them go away. You know, wow. she's done as Supergirl. He's done as Batman. And that's it. You know, and I think, I think, you know, we mentioned that it probably would have been smart to have Keaton be like the lead guy. And I think maybe he saw these rewrites and he saw the ending and he was like, you know what? No, I came back to be Batman and this is how you're going to treat me. So I'm out. I dude. Agree. You, I agree. You're on your own. You're on your own. Um, but dude, this movie, this movie had reportedly 45 different writers. Get that, out here. Come on, man. No, no, that's what it says. Get the fuck out. Is that even deadline? Real? Deadline reported that uh, an unnamed project had gone through forty-five different writers that was slated to come out this year. Unnamed comic book project. It's this movie. Get out. There's that's, no way. That's this wild, is, dude. Forty-five. That not is why we got the movie. We got. Not the that Marvel. Is why. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get there when we get there, Ed. Don't let's not <laughs> Well, for all those writers um, uh on strike, hey, WB can house you. Uh so yeah. <laughs> Again, I hear you. <laughs> I think there's a lot of good things and funny things about the movie, but it's just not it's not gonna be No, it's not it's not the there. end all be all comic book no. movies. It is a result of too many writers. It is a result of too many cooks in the kitchen. It is a result of a full-on ass reboot in the middle of a marketing campaign. <laughs> um, and like, look, I think, like, I don't know if people are talking about if Ezra Miller's uh, actions have hurt the film, but I think they have. Oh, a hundred percent. They, you know, like, you know, one hundred percent. If you don't have your star out promoting the movie, doing interviews, in fact. The only interview, like junkie interview, I saw was only of Sasha. Correct. I didn't see anybody else do and any Andy. interviews. And Andy. Andy. So, so yeah. the director and Those Sasha. Two. That's it. Yeah, that's not even got. Michael Key. And I was like, no. God damn, bro. Dude, you, like you rubbed junk- him the wrong way. <laughs> like, yeah, oh, yeah. I think him, I think George Clooney at the end was like, no, the last straw. He's like, no. Yeah. Bat nipples is, re- bat nips is replacing me. Bat I'm out. Nips. Yeah. I'm out. But yeah, yeah you do. So I think that, um, yeah, this is uh, this movie will the legacy of this movie will be weird, just weird. I think that's the best way to put it. Man. I think the, the sad news, the sad part of it all is that because no one basically is seeing this movie, um, is that I we're gonna forget it. Like yeah. it, 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 we're just gonna forget it. And mm-hmm. I think it could have been like yeah. a turning point for DC, but unfortunately, with all the shit that it went through. And by the way. I give kudos mm-hmm. to it for like, having gone through all that shit and still it's making a half good movie coming out. Yeah, you know, I enjoyed it. I and that's yeah. not something I say a lot about DC movies. Okay, and speaking of that, then let's let's uh, let's rank it. Um, <laughs> ironically, I would put this up there as some of the best DC movie I've ever seen. I think it might oh. just come under probably <clears throat> like the sh- like Shazam. Ultimately, I still think Shazam is like through and through the best DC movie they ever made. Uh, cause from start to finish, I enjoyed it and I thought it was, it was good. Uh, I might put this, I think I might put the second, I mean, as much as I hated that, I mean, it's not that I hated third act. It just didn't do any, like it just didn't add up to anything. I still enjoyed a lot of the movie. You know, what's crazy. And, and I think I, I would just agree. Squad, squad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think I would agree. Yeah. From a pure DC movie. I did enjoy this more than the suicide squad. Yeah. I, you know, I didn't enjoy as much as the first Suzanne, but yeah, I, I would agree. It's wait, second. hold on. So, so would wait. What would you put first? Yeah. Shazam. Shazam. Oh, you would. Okay. Yeah, the original Shazam. That okay, was a gotcha. very, very good movie. It, yeah, very, yeah. very solid movie. Well all the done. Way through. You know? So there you go. Really well you know. Done, so yeah. again, I think it was a it was a accomplishment for sure. Because for me to say that, like, yeah, it's my second favorite DC okay. movie. So there you go. You know, that's again not a whole lot of high bars. Insane <laughs> to say, but yeah. Now it, when you think it is about it, to say it is the absolute best one that is uh... yeah i mean i think it's arguable that yeah some people might put it as their top i mean i wouldn't i wouldn't blame anybody maybe maybe what some i know some people who wonder woman up there is like their top but i'm like i, I will never i can't can't do it with that movie anyways i mean hey uh, it's holding look, they thing. got the, the, they got what's next week is a down week i think it's just that jennifer lawrence movie coming yeah, out which, right by the way i'm actually i kind of want to watch it it looks kind of funny 
I, it does I, look I, funny, no. actually. Yeah. I agree with that. No hard looked, feelings. Look, yeah. No hard feelings. That's what it's called. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, maybe maybe the Flash has a good second weekend and it can maybe. find some more money. But right now, it is slated after its global debut. It is slated to make less than um, Black Adam. Here, let's put it this way, man. It, I know it's only Sunday. I understand. But when you talk about other superhero oh. movies that come out with like their surprises and all that, we would we already would be flooded with all the IGN sure. and Rotten Tomatoes news about like that end credit scene or Ooh. whatever. No one's talking about the Flash. Uh, uh, sadly, no one's talking about the Flash, even right. with that fucking even with Wonder Woman in it, with Momoa in it, with all the cameos, with fucking George Clooney in it, with Nicolas Cage in it, er- like all the faces that were on this screen. No one's talking about it. And it's just yeah. like fuck. That Her, sucks. Yeah. Again, like, uh, and it's it. This is what happens, right? You had this is what happens. Yeah. It's it's a troubled production. Your star was out, you know, <laughs> choking women and shit. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's what he was doing. Like, I know that. I'm trying so to you can't put him at. You like, can't put him at so in there. front of no. anybody. He basically snuck into the premiere. Was there for like two pictures and was gone. Okay, hold on though. Okay, let's. Really, you really said quickly. you wanted to say something. Well, what's ahead. interesting about that is yeah. from what I heard from people at the premiere from the host that we work at Ron Tomatoes. Not, I mean, he. That's not true. He did not just go in and out. He he did a speech. He opened. He did a speech before the movie. Mm. And I look. I I just gave kudos to WB. This is one of the things where I'm like. I can't give kudos to WB for that because what the fuck? You gave your the the actor you said would not give press for the whole thing. You gave him the floor in front of the whole, entire like Hollywood press yeah. that night. What is wrong with you, WB? Yeah, like I don't understand. I still to this day cannot understand what is WB's actual stance with Ezra Miller and what is that? Are you are you is that his like act at redemption? Is that are you kind of saying that perhaps he may continue being the Flash? I I don't know what that is. And look, I wasn't there. I don't know what he said. It, it, his speech could have been a goodbye speech for all I know. But from what I heard, it's it wasn't that at all. Uh, so I don't know. Just hey. WB, just don't. Just yeah. Um. Don't with Ezra Miller. Just like, don't. Uh, like again, I think that you know, same with Disney, same with all these companies. They say one thing, but they mean a completely different other thing. Of course, like, they don't give a shit about anything. This is Even a company. Is like... They want to make money. They don't care all the shit he does. The grooming charges, the choking a woman, the the if you threaten somebody with a gun, like all this other shit that he's done. Um, it didn't matter to them. What mattered to them is saying we care about him and we hope our movie makes money that's I agree it with that. I and, agree. and look they're here and i don't know if the movie will come out to be uh, the only good thing you can say about ezra miller's actions is that it saved them money on the marketing campaign because they basically not push as much as they needed to correct yeah they I, didn't do I, a world I tour like, Rose. well they also Sorry. spent a buttload of money on reshoots obviously too so that kind of went somewhere at least yeah but that's not is that that's not Miller's fault? No, is no. Oh, well, I, well, I don't know. I mean, you're right. Maybe not. That's James maybe, Gunn. Maybe. That's that's WB being WB and still not no. being able to figure out what the fuck they want to do with this property. It, it, I'm sure it was both. I think there's definitely a mixture of both. I don't 100%. know. What I was mean, so, what was also sad too though was that like there was a lot of there are pictures surfacing of like as, like young kids as the dressed up as the Flash at the premiere taking pictures with Ezra Miller. So I can't imagine a parent letting uh, them what, do that. Oh, well, like, no, it have you go look it up. It's there. I'm sure there, there's even I mean, videos, like, if, and that's, the, that's parent, the kind of yeah. shit where I'm like, I mean, look, yeah, as a parent, I'm like, okay, there's there's you. Then there's also again WB like allowing that. It's just like, what are we doing? I don't like. No one can come. <laughs> what are we doing <laughs> about like what the fuck we're doing and what is like uh, okay for our children to do? Anyways. All right. Okay. Enough of that. Let's um, let's kind of wrap this up. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Is there anything else we can talk? Is there anything else I'm missing here? Maybe not. I don't no, know. I, I think we kind of so. talked about it all. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Again, we're good. It's a fun movie. I had a lot of fun in it. I don't. What it means for going forward, I don't know. I hope someone is. I hope the Flash gets another run at it. Uh, pun intended. Um, oh, I hope will. it's not. I hope it's not Ezra Miller. 
I hope it's a new thing. I, you know, oh, if you need to make it, you know, I want, I, I, I never thought he fully embodied Barry Allen all that much. But again, I don't know if that's really Ezra Miller's fault or if it's, you know, WB and, you know, Zack Snyder not doing a great job. Zack Snyder's vision just didn't work for this universe. And I'm glad it's finally, this is it. Oh shit. It's not it. No. We still have Aquaman. We have Aquaman too. Yeah. Which is why you have that end credit scene, which I cannot believe I stayed for. Me too. Uh, uh, I wish I texted really? you asking that you. The end credit scene? Like, um, what the fuck? Anyway. Yeah. But, um, I, all right. I, I, I agree. I, I agree I, I don't completely. Know. It, I agree with you completely. Just, uh, but again, they're already starting to do marketing <laughs> to fix the DCU. They're saying Blue Beetle is the first DCU character. I don't um, give a shit. To get people to go see it. And like, I can, I, I think that movie's going to make less money than The Flash. So I think that marketing campaign has been fucking terrible. I, I'll tell you that movie. Yeah. That movie looks awful to, in my. That movie my, looks like straight. It looks ass like trash. It does ass ass. I'm sorry. I, maybe the I mean, CGI is just not done, but that like, suit looks stupid as fuck. And I, I mean, can't it, wrap my head around the design freaking, of that. The fucking... suit looks ridiculous. I don't want a family adventure Me superhero either. movie. Another family adventure superhero movie. I don't either. I just I'm over it. It just doesn't look. It doesn't look good. Yeah, but whatever. Um, but yeah, that's it. All all right. Right. That's all I got. All right. Well, guys, that is our review of the Flash. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified of when all these our reviews come out. Uh, also, Indian Tuesdays, uh, and I think we're continuing Japan Wednesdays or Friday. <laughs> we're releasing that on Fridays, we, we, maybe. Yeah, we have. We've been traveling a lot. We have. To yeah, get we back got a lot. It, but... uh, we have. A, this is a busy year, but we'll 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 get there. We'll yeah, we'll get for there. sure. We'll 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 still be doing Indian Tuesdays because that is our top performer. So, so yeah, watch that for those. And then I think we're gonna do Dial of Destiny next for at least the uh, Western movies that we're covering still. And so look out for that. Oh, Dial of Destiny. Oh boy, I've seen oh, it. Oh, he hasn't seen it. Boy. Let's see how it goes. Anyways, guys, thank you so much as always, and keep uh keep being you. <laughs>